Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> let's go. The timer says it, so let's do it. Hopefully everything's fine, technically. Um, you can hear me, you can see me, and you can see the screen. Because last time I was talking like an idiot, like 10 minutes to myself. So if somebody could confirm, that would be absolutely perfect. And I know that everything's correct. <clears throat> because if it is, today I can finally reveal some stuff on a project that is very, very close to my heart. German real dot estate. A couple of weeks ago, we published a video on the YouTube channel asking you for questions. And you guys, I'm super happy that I did it because you guys asked really, really good question. And today I wanted to do this Q&A with some updates as well for maximum transparency, because before you invest, you should know what you're getting yourself into. And also a lot has developed over the last couple of weeks. Perfect. Thank you for uh, confirming, Brian. Then we can go. Uh, this is the video, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about. This is the video that we published a couple of weeks ago explaining everything. Um, and now we will go a little bit more into detail. With a flexible schedule. So we try to cluster your questions um, in basically two different parts. The first one is how a token actually comes to life. And the second one is more info on the different types of security tokens. So return, risk, and all that kind of stuff. And then third slide is just some other questions. So if you have some questions today also, let's hear it. I'm, I'm here to answer hopefully everything. Let's see if I can do it. Um, before we start, you know, um, this is no financial advice today, only education and entertainment. So please do not make any financial decisions based on what you see or hear today. Um, before we start, honest thank you. These are all the comments that we had uh, under, the, under the last video. We put in a lot of work into this project already and it makes me very, very happy that you are interested in our real estate security tokens. Um, I actually checked uh, just before going online here, the, the video that we published, you can find it in the description, um, is number one in all metrics. So if you compare it with, uh, with other videos that we published on the channel, it's actually number one. It makes me really, really happy that you guys are interested in this. I was honestly a little bit worried um, that we will do this and nobody gives a shit. Um, then all this work would have been for North, but um, hopefully everything worked out. So thank you again. And if you would like some updates, you can always uh, check the website, uh, germanreal.estate. Um, and we also have a newsletter where we just send out important updates. We're not going to spam you. Trust me on that one. Um, it's just every regular, uh, regularly, if there's an important update, then we'll, we'll let you know there first and with videos, of course. Um, many people asked a question like Manila, Man, Manali did, uh, hi Rishi. What's up? Uh, many people asked uh, also what Manali did, um, that um, how all of this basically comes together and if, if we're starting this completely from scratch or also uh, one person was asking if we're doing this completely alone without lawyers and stuff uh, and how all of this comes together and if this exists. So I thought it's a good idea to be very transparent how one of these tokens can come to life. Um, and to answer Manali's question, we're the first one doing this. So there's one company that's kind of doing something similar in the US. Uh, but other than that, we're building, at least here in Germany, we're building everything from the ground up. And I wanted to show you that even though this is new, there's still highly, highly professional players involved. So it's not like there's no safety or something for you. Um, it all starts with the property or the idea that where a property should be eventually, like a project if, we, if uh, we're, um, we're um, working together with uh, property development companies. 
Um, and this is really where we can leverage on the relationships that we built over the last five years with Perfinex. So now it finally comes together. So you cannot just invest in, uh, in small investment properties and small rentals for yourself, but now we can, we can play the big game. And you'll see it in step five, that we have three different types of tokens um, that, we, that we can invest in. Um, after we discussed all the things with the property developer or on the property side, uh, it's time to hand everything uh, to our lawyers. So this is what uh, Dix uh, was asking, um, that maybe we should clarify this design concept with Fachanwalt. Uh, yes, uh, Dix, every single token will be run through our lawyers. So it doesn't work without them and everything has to be clarified. Actually, the entire business model was created together with the lawyers. I paid like a healthy five digit amount in uh, lawyer fees already. Um, so everything is legally sound. And I think with, with all the disclaimers that we have and here in the top right that we have like infomercial and all that stuff, Legal safety is very important to me for everybody involved, for us as the company, for you as the investors. So be sure everything will run with a, with a lawyer. And when they are done drafting the legal contract, they actually go to Bafin uh, for the um, official securities approval process. Um, because our real estate security tokens will have an ESIN or an ISIN and a WKN, just like a regular stock, a bond, or an ETF, or something like this. Will be a regular investment that is proven by BaFin, our financial supervisory, supervisory authority. Um, and then we have this uh, this comment, which I think from TikTok, by the way, uh, we will have a couple of TikTok comments and we'll, uh, we'll see about that. Uh, but um, I want to I wanna clarify on this, uh, this Dolphin Capital or German Property Group, uh, this uh, Ponzi scheme that happened like a, a while ago here in Germany it has nothing to do with us. It's the same as uh, Wirecard or S and K, if you know them, there was another property fraud here in Germany. It's all basically the same that they promise a 10% return or something without any risk. Um, and then, of course, investors lose all their money, right? This happens in properties, this happens in NFTs, in crypto. In you should just be careful with your hard earned money, is what I'm trying to say. And in order to separate us from Dolphin Capital and all these other uh, scams that are happening out there, let me be very clear. As clear as I possibly can be. With our real estate security tokens, you can lose all your money if the property from step one right below me is worth zero, then your tokens are also worth zero. In theory, that's possible. Like it's possible that every stock also goes to zero. We're gonna try our best that it's not gonna happen and it's very unlikely that an entire property is worth zero, but it can happen. And that's actually what you're signing before you would, uh, you, would, um, you would invest in one of these tokens. You would electronically agree to that you can lose all your money like you have to agree with, uh, on, on that one with any other credible investment side out there. They're all making you um, state, yes, you agree or you acknowledge, then you can also lose money, right? And that's basically what separates the scammers from the not scammers. Um, so diversify. That's why we make these tokens one euro so you can diversify because not all tokens will probably win. There will also be some losers. Hopefully not, but probably yes. Um, and I think that's all I can say to this. No scammer will ever admit that he's a scammer. So if you believe that we're scamming with this, then do us all a favor and don't invest in the tokens. Um, Hopefully not though, by uh, showing you that I built Perfinex from the ground up five years ago and now I'm building this up. 
Um, hopefully you can believe me. And if I wanted to scam, there's a lot easier ways to scam people than going through all of this nonsense here. And a lot cheaper. Let me say it like this. There's a lot cheaper ways to scam people and a lot easier ways to scam than this. So <laughs> it's not a scam. Uh, but freedom of speech. If you if you think that's uh, uh, if you don't believe me, okay, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, after Bafin is done, after Bafin basically approved the whole process and said yes, this can be an official security that is tradable in Germany. Um, the real tokenization happens afterwards because then this security will be tokenized. And here we have really three partners that I'm very happy about that we can rely on them. The first one is Tesla, Te Cash Link Technologies uh, GmbH, the technical partner that provides the software for the tokenization. And uh, the, the whole uh, technical side for you, for the wallets and all that kind of stuff. Then we have Effecta uh, GmbH, a licensed financial services institution that helps us in all matters uh, where Bafin is regulating us because all of this will be officially regulated. And lastly, ID Now GmbH that you have to identify with um, if you want to become an investor on GermanReal.estate. Um, so there's no money laundering or terrorist financing or any of that stuff happening with our tokens. Everything has to be... Uh, Uh, legally proven and safe. And then once uh, everything is tokenized, um, we basically have three different types of tokens that we could think of. Just a short overview now, we will go a little bit more in detail on that on the next slide. Um, first is the project development token. So a regular prop a professional property development company, not us, Uh, external one, uh, buys a plot anywhere in Germany, builds a property on that plot and sells it afterwards. And this is because many, many people uh, that from the community also want to do it themselves. So I'm pretty sure that you know that this is a highly, highly profitable business model that you have two ways. Either you do this yourself right now, but who can really do this when we're talking about millions of euros You could probably only do it in a small scale. Um, so there's, as of right now, no way to invest in this. It's super profitable and they have huge problems getting money right now because interest rates skyrocketed. Uh, but there's no way as of right now to connect the investors who want to invest in that and the property dev developer who needs money. Then uh, fix and flip token, also what many people uh, talk about. That um, again, external company buys an existing property or maybe a, a small flat, right? Doesn't have to be an entire house uh, in this case um, that needs renovation. They put a little money into it, renovate it. And after they renovate it, either they sell it again at a higher price or they rent it out at a higher price than market price. And this can be also, I mean, you've seen the videos from the US, right? Everybody uh, everybody from US videos talks about that one, that this is uh, also pretty profitable. Which also doesn't exist right now. There's no way right now to invest in these uh, fix and flip companies. You can either do it yourself or that's it. And then lastly, uh, this time us, We will buy uh, entire houses. This is basically what I what I uh, what I shared in the last video. That we will buy entire properties worth two million or something like this. The more, the better. And I will show you one dream that I have with this uh, later on. Um, why these why properties that are that big? Because they're super interesting from an investment perspective. If you just have an entire house yourself and not just like a small flat within a house. Uh, we buy it, we rent it out, we manage it, and all of us enjoy the returns in form of regular passive rental income coming in and the resale value if we ever decide to sell the property, which 
all of you guys, the token hodlers, uh, could decide. We could choose democratically if we want to sell the property eventually when we good, uh, get a good deal or something, we could decide if we want to um, to sell or if we keep it. But that one will come later on. So first I need to see some profits from all of that because it was a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of money so far. Uh, and before we can start uh, buying these uh, these properties, we first need to earn some 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 money here back on on this one. <clears throat> um, a question from Jegner. So all tokens are linked to specific properties or projects and not the entire portfolio. Correct. So here I, I have a little example. Um, the idea is to make a marketplace out of this. So there will be, let's just say, uh, I, I have an example on the next slide for a property that is uh, in Munich where they, 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 uh, we have a project development token. And this will be, for example, GRE1, right? Like Bitcoin is BTC, this would be GRE1 or Ethereum is ETH. That would be GRE1. And then if... Well, we are also talking to a company that is doing fix and flip in uh, Leipzig. Their token would be GRE2 maybe, right? And then the goal is eventually to have many different tokens with different strategies that you can invest in so you can create a nice portfolio for yourself. Super Mario, you're actually, you tuned in. I saw your comment earlier today when we were discussing the, uh, you also, we, we have your question that you have above, uh, below the last video uh, about the voting. Uh, do we need 51% votes to take a decision? If we cannot agree, what will happen? Well, if we, um, if the technical possibility exists um, to ask you if you want to sell, uh, because th then we will basically get like an official offer, right? We, we bought it for 2 million and after a couple of years, let's say we get an offer, we can sell the property for 3 million. Then we will ask you, we got an offer, do you want to take it? And if more than 50% vote of the token owners that they want to sell it, then we'll do it for you. If all of us decide or 51% would decide that we want to keep it, then we keep it. And lastly, uh, to finish, uh, secondary market. This is the big advantage of the blockchain, right? And therefore our tokens, that you can basically trade them 24-7. So if you want to cash out, if you want to sell all your tokens, or if you want to buy more because you missed it maybe and you really, really like a specific token, go ahead. You can exchange basically a GRE1 for GRE2, uh, or you could sell, uh, here I made like two examples. Um, so you can exchange the tokens or you sell GRE3. If you bought it for one euro, maybe you want to sell it for 110 and see if somebody takes it. And if that works out, uh, the secondary market will be online before the end of this year. So it will not come with the start because it also makes no sense. So right now there's not a lot of resource put in it. Uh, but we want to have it uh, before the end of this year. Before that, like in, in summer, there will be like uh, hopefully lots of tokens coming uh, and lots of investors. Because if we start with a secondary market right now, there's no liquidity anyway. If we start with like one or two tokens or something and a handful of investors, there will be no marketplace. So it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to start with the secondary market now. We want to give this like three months, six months or something. And then uh, hopefully you can share my vision that German real dot estate will be the marketplace to invest in real estate in Germany. As easy as possible with tokens. And then in case there's no questions to this, uh, Abra had an uh, excellent question. Um, he wants to know the return, which is 10% without any risk, of course, just like with Dolphin Capital, right? <laughs> And 
at the end of the day, the return will depend on the exact token um, or on the exact property, actually. Um, the, token, the tokenization itself just makes it more liquid, more easy and more tax efficient uh, than regular investing. If you want to see the comparison, um, investing in tokens, investing in regular real estate, and also investing in real estate as a private person versus investing in real estate as a company, then you can check out the last uh, the last video. There I explain this really into detail. And then let's uh, talk about more about the three different types of properties. Huh? So you can, uh, Abra has a better understanding of the potential return. Uh, could it be that E.g. a property costs 1 million, so we have 1 million tokens. Yes, that will be the case. Uh, I buy 500k plus 1 token, okay. Uh, then I make an offer for 1 euro for the property and then I vote to accept the offer. So I will <laughs> buy it with 50% off. That is an excellent question. You guys are always trying to game the system. I absolutely love it. Um, this is a really good question. I re need to run this through the lawyers. Because that has to be prevented. I'm so, I'm so happy right now I make this live stream. This is an absolutely excellent question uh, that we have to prevent. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, all the other people who are investing the uh, who are investing the other five hundred uh, k, they would lose all. They would lose half their money, right? Because of uh, what you're doing. So no, that we can't allow this one. This no, this won't work. Yeah, that. Yeah, there's, there, there's probably a couple of different ways to prevent this. Uh, maybe with like a clause or something that you can't have more than X percent of... Because let's just say we allow you to have 25%, right? Then you have 25%, your friend have 25%, and then you just do it together. I think there, there has to be something like there is with regular stock companies, right? That if you have more than whatever amount of percentage, like I think in Germany it's like 4% or something, if you have more than 4% of a regular stock company, you have to let Bafi know. And probably we have something like this as well. If not, we have to introduce it. We, we cannot allow that the, the two people together have 25% and they, they game everybody else and everybody loses half a million. That would be pretty bad. So thank you very much. I'll definitely write it down. Uh, Saurabh, will there be limited number of tokens for each property? If GRE1 is for one property in Munich, does it mean every other property will have its token like GRE2, GRE3, and in some years GRE100? Yes, yeah. So in... Uh, uh, Mario's example when we start with one property worth 1 million then there will be 1 million tokens of GRE1 and then another property will be GRE2 and then maybe we have 2 million tokens or something like this yeah it's actually it is a genius idea it is a genius idea you guys Let's see, aside from this, how you can also make a, uh, make a return. Uh, and also um, the token strategy behind it. Um, many people like uh, Tuan uh, ask not just about the return, but also about the risk, which again makes me very happy because you not just have dollar signs in your eyes or euro signs in your eyes or something thinking that my tokens will make you rich tomorrow because that's probably not gonna happen right like nothing will make you rich tomorrow um property development token so again professional property developer buys a plot builds a property on it and probably sells it afterwards, right around usually two to three years these days. Uh, 
they actually sell it before that even. So, you know, if, if you're looking on the internet for any project that, that are currently being developed, they're not being sold once they're done because there's currently such a huge run for properties that they're even sold before. So um, with the first property developers, what we agree is that they basically finance a lot with the, with the bank and then they refinance with the token. So the first example here that we have is um, that they want to buy a property worth two million in a, a plot worth two million. Then they build a property on it for six million. So the total investment is eight million. And then they want to sell it in three years, right? They build a property. And then in two years, they want to sell it for 14 million. That's their plan. That's the plan of one of the property developers that we talked to. You can see highly profitable, but you can't invest in it because this is a 75% uh, return. So 25% year over year. If it works. And that's basically the question, right? There could be all sorts of things where there will be delays or something in the uh, in the development uh, world. Wood prices can increase. There can be shortages on resources, right? All kinds of things that can happen. So you're not getting 25% return year over year for free. That's just not happening. And then they take this money once they sold it and repeat and repeat and repeat, right? And then they would be they repeat would repeat it with GRE two, GRE three. Hopefully, if they like us, um, if they like the uh, the way to finance with the tokens, then they would just come come back. Probably in this one, the return would be only when they sell. So in terms of exit. Uh, but it depends. So there's multiple ways how you can uh, you can get interest rate. You can get like an uh, exit share, right? So that um, if we if we do like a two million tokens out of the eight million in total, we do like two million in tokenization, and they get six million from somewhere else, like from banks or something. Um, then we would we have twenty five percent of the whole project tokenized, and then th we would get twenty five percent of the resale value. That's probably the return that you see in the project development tokens because they need the money for to build the property. So they're probably not going to pay interest rate or rental income because there is none or any, any sorts of this. And another uh, potential return, I see that if somebody buys these tokens and sells it, let's say, after one year... If if in a, in a perfect market, because you you would buy property, uh, you would buy tokens for one euro, and they would return for one seventy five after three years, right? If you do the calculation for eight eight million to fourteen in three years, it would be one seventy five after three years. So in a perfect market, exactly after one year, the token should be worth one twenty five euros. And then we'll see what the secondary market does. Will just be like stocks. In a perfect market, it will be worth exactly what it the exact value, but probably not. Probably the token values will go up and down depending if uh, people want it or not. <clears throat> what is the arrangement with the property developer? Uh, especially if the project doesn't work out. First money in, first money out. Um, this will be, let me skip to uh, this one, to the ranking. Um, my thinking is, um, let, let me know what you think of. You, here's some smart people. Let me know what you think of this. I'm thinking of introducing a ranking system. So you can make a real informed investment decision based on risk, uh, based on all the legal details, how profits are split, in what order they're split, and uh, uh, in what order, um, like in case it doesn't work, who gets money first? Does the property developer get money first or do we get uh, uh, the money first? Or And then we can 
depending on the legal safety, because we can with the tokens we can basically create any security that we want or the prop project developer wants. And that's why I told them in all the talks that we have, I told them the number one goal when they think of the tokens should be who wants to invest in this? Is this actually an exciting investment property, uh, an, an exciting investment token? Because they can basically say you have absolutely no legal, um, no uh, legal safety, you get none of the profits, you get nothing, That would work, but then no. who wants to buy this? Nobody. Nobody wants to invest in tokens like this. But if they're saying the token owners would actually get pro pro uh, a profit first because uh, before the project developer, so you have legal safety in case something doesn't work, and you get a fair, uh, fair exit uh, uh, amount, then that looks much better. And that's why I tell them, please design the tokens so people want to invest in that later on. And I think what would really help you guys, because it's pages and pages of legal contracts, right? That if we introduce like a ranking system, so more legal safety gets more points and uh, a more uh, a better track record of the property developer gets more points and all that. So you can basically make an informed investment decision and you can buy exactly the tokens that suit your investment style and your risk appetite. I think that would be really good for you. Okay, and then uh, second one. First question from rating makes sense if it's standardized. Okay, yeah, I, I think so too. Okay, yeah. Uh, first question from Positive Impact. Uh, what's the potential return and is it more than the stock market? Um, so yes, um, we'll see. We'll see about that. It depends on the property. <laughs> Um, fix and flip. There's this one uh, Leipzig uh, company that we uh, we we talk to currently. They're buying super cheap flats, small flats, like 200k. They have really good connections to local real estate agents, and they're buying super cheap flats for less than 200k in Leipzig. They renovate it, and then afterwards they sell it again make really uh, I saw some pictures they make really really beautiful apartments out of them and then they sell it again at a <laughs> pretty high price because it's Leipzig right and people are currently willing to buy insane square meter prices in Leipzig or sometimes uh, they also keep it if they think it really makes sense and then they rent it out and there we could have like maybe a portfolio or something out of fix and flip because 200k is 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 not enough for a token right it would be not enough for gre4 or something that wouldn't be enough here i think we need like a portfolio of fix and flip in leipzig so then we you would have like a fix and flip leipzig token maybe but we'll we'll, we'll see what we what we decide on them uh, with them together Uh, and then maybe like a, a rental token afterwards, right? This will be then then this one. And to answer a positive impact question, uh, is it more or less? Yeah, well, uh, it depends. It depends on the token strategy and the exact uh, property that is underlying the uh, the token. Once we are done with the lawyers about all the uh, the first tokens and once everything is approved by Bafin and then the contracts are set and then I will give you as much information as possible about the underlying idea of that one but nothing's set in stone now the Bafin hasn't hasn't approved anything so far we didn't even apply so far so we first need to uh, finish the stuff with a lawyer and then we will run it with uh, Bafin And then once the first two kinds of tokens work, I want to really uh, buy these or, or create these rental uh, these rental tokens because I think you guys will really like that. A regular rental token. Just like explained in the last video, we buy properties, rent it out, and you just get your 
uh, your share of your rental income in form of passive income in your wallet. And I'm just gonna put it out there. Now, April 5th, 2022, for the universe to hear it. Some of you are in Munich. I recognize some of your names. Um, then you will probably know this, uh, this tower too. I want to tokenize the Uptown Tower or the, o or the O2 Tower is what it's uh, sometimes called. Here in Munich. The highest building in Bavaria that was sold last year for 570 million euros to a German asset management company. I want to tokenize that one. Imagine that in a couple of years from now, you guys, you, you could own a part of this building and all types of other really cool buildings here in Germany. This would be really, really cool if we allow investors to invest in stuff like this because this doesn't exist. And then imagine if we get like a resale uh, offer. They bought it for 570. Let's say we buy it for, I don't know, 600 or whatever, 650. And then we can sell it for 800 million or something like this. And then uh, Mario will buy it with a 50% discount and uh, pocket uh, 400 million for himself. <laughs> That would be the absolute dream to to tokenize really cool projects, not just any building, but landmarks. That would be really nice. If we can get that one done. There's also some really cool stuff in Frankfurt that they're building right now. That would be really, really nice. And then lastly, there were some questions. Uh, so Positive Impact had another question. Um, that we weren't able to cluster, uh, basically. So if you have some questions right now, you can also um, um, ask them now. Um, second question from Positive Impact. Why do people buy properties? I think it's because of the emotional value and not just the return. Here it's pseudo-ownership of the property. I don't think it has the same emotional value as buying an entire property by oneself. Uh, yeah, you can actually see this. Um, it's similar to running the company yourself and owning just a few shares. Combined with this, the returns aren't as good as the stock market. Why would it be a good investment? Um, so the argument about the emotional value behind properties. Um, for homes, you're probably right. Or for homes, this is probably more true than for investment properties. So... Um, clients uh, bought uh, rental properties for five years now since uh, I started the company and um, th there's not a lot of emotional value behind an investment property but I get your point um, that's actually why I want the landmark buildings like the O2 tower in order to get you or all of us emotionally invested um so it's not pseudo ownership, it's real ownership, real legal ownership. It's just because you have a legal claim against the special purpose entity holding the building. Uh, I explained this in the other video. Um, you can just buy it easier, more liquid, with less commitment and potentially a higher return because of the company investing in it legal structure. Uh, so it's it's not like running a company yourself because you don't have to do anything, actually. Um, you just register as an investor. You download the wallet, invest money, and then you Netflix and chill while uh, you get your return. <laughs> running a company is a little different. Let me tell you that out of my own experience. Uh, how much or what percentage of the investment for each project goes towards operating expenses? That will depend on the property. We will for for all properties for all tokens we will publish uh, calculations. 
once we have the exact numbers, we will be as transparent as possible. We also have to. So it will all be written. We will have to um, um, cl clarify all of that when we apply for BaFin approval. Um, so the numbers will be will be uh, available to the public anyway. Now we'll just make it easier for you to access these these numbers. Uh, Mr. Alizic, when do we start? Yeah, well, hopefully in May. We'll try our best. Uh, but please don't get angry angry with me if it's June. <laughs> uh, you can follow on social media or on a newsletter or visit the website every once in a while for updates uh, but you guys from YouTube will be the very first to uh, that I let you know hopefully May and then another TikTok, co TikTok comment uh, from Spam um, and uh, It seems like TikTok has really clever comments, like the uh, Dolphin Capital guy earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, let's raise prices for homes. Um, you know why rents and property prices in Germany are going through the roof? Because we didn't build enough. We didn't build enough properties for <laughs> at least the last 10 years. And now we're paying the price for it. We do for real. We do pay the price for it. And you want to know the only solution that really works, that will solve this problem, the prices are absolutely insane. It's not a rent cap. And none of these other political bullshit campaigns that always promise that they will bring a solution. The only antidote to rising home prices is building more. We need more supply. If we create more living space, enough living space actually, prices will come down or be more stable over time. And what do we need to, <laughs> to create living space? Money. And right now with the war raging and interest rates skyrocketing, property developers are even more strapped for cash. So what's currently happening is not helping home prices at all. They're going astronomically even higher than ever before. So if you want to be part of the solution for, a, for, for, a, for um, affordable home prices in Germany, for all of us, let's uh, raise some money so we can build more properties. It's the only only solution for it. Question from Zorab. Uh, just to get an idea, how many investors are expected realistically for a first project purchase? Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, that's a very good question. That's also why I'm making all these videos um, to, to kind of see what the demand will be. Um, for the first uh, first property that I was showing you, right? Where they buy the plot for 2 million, build a project for 6 million, and then 8 million investment in total. We were actually discussing if we want to tokenize the total 8 million. But then we came to terms that nobody knows if we will actually, if there's the demand for 8 million. And then if... The demand is, if we say we tokenize 8 million and we only raise 4, then where's the other 4 million going to come from? That's why we said, let's tokenize 2 million to start with. Out of the total 8 million, we will probably tokenize 2 million. Uh, and then in case only 1 million of the tokens get sold, then we will find a uh, solution for the other uh, 1 million. That's okay, because then they already have seven. Then we will find a solution for the other one million. Um, and then we'll see. If you guys really want that two million, then the next property will we'll do more. Will all depend on, uh, on what you guys think. Couple of questions from Anmol. Um, how will the property be managed? How will maintenance costs be shared? Um, 
mostly a question for the rental tokens, right? Not really for fix and flip and for the uh, property development. Um, the special purpose entity that is the owner of the property that will take care of that one. They will pay for renovations. They will pay b bank financing if we need it for property management, uh, all that kind of stuff. And then the after tax profit of this special purpose entity, which is doing nothing except being basically a, sh a bank account for the whole uh, for the whole uh, property and uh, being the legal owner, um, will be will be split uh, among the token owners. And now a question I couldn't answer myself: How will the ledger be maintained? So here I really, I, I was just sending this question <laughs> to Cashlink because all of these technicalities, um, this is not my expertise. Um, so uh, this is really my weak spot. Let me just, um, let me just read what Cashlink sent me. Okay, <laughs> this, I'm very happy that they work with us here, that they support us. So they basically said um, uh, that Unmold's question is unclear, kind of. They said, The ledger is Polygon, Polygon, a public ledger which is validated by proof of stake. Hopefully that answers your question. And maybe Super Mario, you're here. This is your question. Here. Uh, you also uh, were asking. Um, so no connection to crypto. That's correct. Uh, so your question was who will keep the ledger? Will it be Ethereum blockchain and implement as token? So who will keep the ledger? So Cashlink said, hopefully you're happy with this answer. <laughs> the smart contract is deployed on Polygon, a layer two scaling solution that uses the Ethereum blockchain as its underlying protocol. Our platform uses self-custodial wallets. Are you satisfied with this answer, Super Mario? If not, let's schedule another video with Cashlink. Because this is not my expertise here. This is this is really where we're relying on that. Yeah, you're happy? Okay, great. <laughs> great. Then let's make Carlos happy too. Um, he also has like some crypto questions and how the rewards distributed, uh, extra costs, all that kind of stuff. So um, the transaction stuff, um, uh, because... Um, Is it transactional like crypto? Um, generally, yes. Under one condition, you have to be a registered investor on GermanReal.estate. So you have to complete the know your customer process, the KYC process, like with ID now. Maybe you know them from opening bank accounts or something, where you just uh, you you basically you just show your ID and then. You have like a short video call with somebody and then you're accepted because then you get like a whitelisted wallet. And all tokens, all GRE tokens can be traded on whitelisted wallets. So it doesn't work with like your Coinbase wallet or something like this because this would not be a whitelisted wallet. It can o it only works at least for now with the whitelisted wallets. We'll see what happens in the future though. So I was attending a webinar from Deutsche Börse. Some of you uh, watching right now will Deutsche will know Deutsche Börse uh, very uh, uh, very much so because he's working for that company. Um, um, and they are planning to get digitalized. They also want some share of all that, right? Um, so because it has a reg all the tokens will have a regular ISIN, ISIN, and a regular double K WKN. Maybe soonish we can also trade them on a regular stock exchange. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Question from Julio. How can a new buyer purchase uh, the tokens without passing a legal contract? Um, I'm guessing the same answer is the smart contract on Polygon. That's probably the technical answer. The non-technical answer is um, like you purchase any stock or bond or ETF or something 
uh, also like through your brokerage account uh, without passing through a legal contract. Because the, the legal owner will always be the pe special purpose entity. No matter who owns the tokens, the, the owner, the only owner forever will be the, um, the special purpose entity. Nothing changes about this. So no notary or something like this required. Uh, and then how will the rental earnings be split uh, once the security tokens are sold? Just like with dividends. If you own one security tokens at the moment that the payout happens, you also get the payout. If you sell your tokens, you won't get rental earnings anymore. Only the owners will get the, uh, the passive income. Are the tokens open to institutional investors? Um, yes. Because you can identify also as a GmbH. So eventually, yes. Probably. Oh no, Super Mario with another technical question. <laughs> what will happen if for some reason the smart contract is hacked and the tokens are transferred to someone else? Let me run this with Cashlink. So all the technical questions that you have, please just type them in chat now. We, we will clarify this. Um, but for all the technical stuff, I have to run it with Cashlink. I really, really have to run it with Cashlink. And they will they will answer this. Like they were answering all these questions too. <laughs> so good that you're asking. I'll get back to this. Uh, maybe this video will be online. Uh, so it will stay online. So maybe I'll, I'll link a comment or something below. Uh, once I have the answers, I may pin a comment or something like this uh, with, all the, with all the answers. But you'll, you'll get it for sure. Uh, Mina ask, is asking if somebody can invest in uh, our security tokens from Ireland. Um, um, to answer this question, um, I have to be very careful what I'm what I'm saying here. Um, I don't want to get into legal trouble, so let me say it like this: um, We are offering our security tokens to people living in Germany. Hmm? If you are living outside of Germany and still want to invest in our tokens and you invest from a euro account so there's no money laundering issues and stuff we're not going to hold you back except if you're from the US that's not possible because of this FACTA, FATCA, NAFTA what is this tax regulation so US investors are blocked and everybody like on on sanction list, so not North Korea and maybe Russia right now, I don't, I don't know, uh, but like uh, North Korea, US, all of them, they're blocked, of course. But all other 180 uh, countries in the world, if you want to do it, let me just be very clear that we are actively offering our tokens only to investors in Germany. If you are outside of Germany and you want to invest, you're an adult, you can do with your money whatever you want. This is uh, probably all I can say uh, to this without getting into legal trouble here. Feel free <laughs> feel free to draw your own conclusions from, uh, from that if you really listen closely. <laughs> um, and then next question, is it a one-time investment, a specific amount, or is it a continuous payment? Um, for now... Um, this is a one-time investment. So every time you want to invest in one of the tokens, you actively have to uh, do something. Um, but um, we will be working together with Cashlink on like a savings plan. So that you can invest like, let's say, 100 euro or something to your, uh, to your whitelisted wallet every month from your bank account. Uh, and then you can maybe uh, say, I want to invest in property development tokens, I want to invest in fix and flip tokens, I want to invest in uh, tokens with the risk category or the ranking, this and that, this is this will really be the, the next step. 
Uh, and lastly, from Mina, can someone in the future get easily a mortgage for a house uh, to live in Germany, uh, even though he has some tokens? Yes, so there will be no implications. Um, our tokens will probably not help you a lot uh, getting a mortgage, and they will probably they will definitely not hinder you getting a getting a mortgage. So you can still get your mortgage uh, just fine. Um, this links to Super Mario's question. What stops an institutional investor from buying all the tokens? Okay, yeah, understood. For a super attractive project and then selling it for whatever price they want on the secondary market. Yes. Well, let me let me definitely uh, clarify that. Uh, I, I didn't think of this. Maybe I'll even hire you, Super Mario. You're, you seem to uh, understand this pretty good. <laughs> Um, in the previous video, you mentioned taxes. Did you clarify the tax rules um, when you sell the to these tokens? Um, so we still don't have the definitive answer. Um, this might even depend on the different uh, type of token. Uh, maybe. Uh, but it, it might come down eventually to maybe 25% capital gains tax. Maybe. Um, but what we're, we're still trying to do is because this is all blockchain based and all of that stuff, right? That we're, we're, we're trying to do it. So this is, this is really the talks that we're having with the lawyers and the tax advisors that it would be super nice if, especially for the property development tokens, if you buy them now and then after one year, just like with the crypto, you can sell it tax free. That would be super great. This is, this is. This is really what we're investing investing time right now to to clarify all of this. But since this doesn't exist, you really need to run it through Finanzamt, right? You so this is where our tax advisor is going to Finanzamt and saying, "This is what we're trying to do. How would this be taxed?" Because it doesn't exist, so nobody knows yet. Uh, what is the exit strategy for a token owner if no liquidity in the secondary market? Yeah, this is also what we're discussing. Um, if you would have the right um, as the token owner uh, to maybe eventually give it back to the um, issuing company. So in this case, the property developer or the fix and flip uh, company or us if it's for the rental um if you have the possibility to give it back for whatever price, this is, you know, this of course has to be determined, but I'm, I'm very worried about the liquidity on the secondary market as well. That's why I'm not in a rush to introduce it. If it happens later this year, I'm fine with it. And then we'll see how many investors and how many tokens we have. Because liquidity is always an issue. You, you know that you know that better than everybody else probably uh, watching right now. Um, li liquidity is always an issue. And then lastly, a question from uh, Zoran. Maybe you're watching if you do. Or if you're watching the replay, what's up, my man? Um, we kept your question for last because you know the best the best always comes at the end you know <laughs> um uh, can you uh, can investors possibly possibly uh, use mortgage leverage in this kind of setup um we'll see if it makes sense we'll see how financial markets continue to be uh if it makes sense for what specific type of token if it makes sense we'll do it if it makes sense to leverage, because then we again have to uh, have to um, have to pay interest rate to the bank, right? And the question is basically, do we want to get bank m money from the bank and share the profit or pay interest rate to the bank, or would we maybe rather uh, do more tokens and then split the profit among all of us? Because then you don't you basically don't leverage with banks money; you leverage with all the other token investors that could, uh, could maybe make sense too. Um, what will happen if the company, the issue, uh, issuing the company goes bankrupt? So probably the issuing company goes bankrupt. Yeah, that's exactly what they can draft. So in the, in the questionnaire, drafting the tokens, 
this is exactly what they can yeah understood uh, this is exactly what they can decide uh, what would happen with the token money first um, or when will when will the token owners get some money um, and this is really where I want to introduce this ranking because I don't want them to hide anything in the legal contract on page 27 or something like this um, if they want to get money out first before the token owners so I think we would really need to have a discussion with them because that is not sending a good sign um, if they want money out first I would rather have it that Banks get money first, so we get also the money first. Why would they get money first before us, basically? I don't think that this makes a lot of sense. And I don't think that you should buy it and would want to buy it in this case. So they are the ones managing it, so they should take the risk. And we're basically investors. This is this is my understanding. And so far, all of them agreed to this. So th we didn't actually have discussion about this. They were saying, yes, the token owners get their money first. Because I told them, rule number one when creating the token is, is this an exciting investment? That's the rule number one. It, makes, it brings nobody benefit if we tokenize a shitty idea that nobody wants to buy. Then the only one who won are, is Bafin and the lawyers, nobody else. So rule number one is to create exciting tokens that you guys actually want to buy. Um, second question from Zoran. Can existing properties be tokenized using the advantage of, of investor networks to split company costs and share benefits? Uh, generally, yes. So we can tokenize absolutely everything and everybody. Um, it just depends on, you know, if you maybe buy a flat or something. Uh, with 100k, 150k, that's probably not worth it to tokenize because then the lawyer fees and BaFin fees and all of that will be too high. So we really need volume for for that one. But maybe over time we'll find a solution for that one too. So that if you have like a rental property and you want to refinance and you want to buy a new one, then maybe we can find a solution like you can tokenize all of that. And property management we uh, already discussed, right? So I, I want to end it with, let me put my camera here. Um, so let me end it with this one. Uh, we'll see what becomes possible over time. Um, I would absolutely love if we can make that one happen, the O2 Tower, in a shared effort, all of us, that we democratize investing in properties like these that as of right now can only be invested in by billionaires and millionaires. That would be great. And that's why German Real Dot Estate is for, at least for me, the future of investing in German real estate. And we'll see what you guys think in three months or six months from now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting me so far with the views and the clicks. And thank you for supporting me with Perfinex over the last five years. And I would be very happy um, if you support us here as well. And then I'll make it work. Thank you very much. If there's any questions, um, Feel free to comment below this video so this will just stay online and then um, talk to you in the next video on Friday, which will also be a property video. Take care, guys.